Maybe airplanes are like people. You don't really get to know them until after you've lived with them a while. My name is Ed Hawkins. I was born in 1922, and I'm uh, 92 years old. Not so long ago, you were sitting like this in a college or high school classroom, not listening too hard, perhaps even a little sleepy. But you listen here. You know, war was going on. Practically everybody got into the service, either one way or another. <laughs> I was in college, but I always wanted to fly. Enlisting in the Air Force satisfied those needs. The group commander steps up to the target map, and for the first time, you learn where you're going. Sometimes your face turns white when you find out. Sometimes the feeling you won't come back tightens your insides. You go through what you call you know, pilot training. And... and as you listen, you don't have time to think of yourself. Fear fades. You concentrate on the mission. Type of formation, assembly point, zero hour, route to target, weather, enemy fighters, enemy flak, route back home. If forced down in enemy territory, destroy equipment. If taken prisoner, give no information, name, rank, and serial number. That's all. A B-17 is an old, four-engine bomber. That was the most modern plane they had. First of all, the pilots, and the bombardier, and the navigator. Navigator, engineer and top turret gunner, tail gunner, ball turret gunner, pilot to crew, 10,000, put on oxygen. Everybody had a little job, uh, plus everybody had a, a gun, you know, they could shoot at the enemy aircraft. They're climbing higher now, 300 feet a minute. The strain on the planes and on the men is mounting. Higher and colder. Temperature, 40 degrees below zero. Take off your glove and you loosen fingers. You look out at the strange world beyond. Reflections in plexiglass, like nothing you ever saw before, outside of a dream. We were about 32,000 feet. I was a co-pilot on that crew. Higher and higher into the lightless stratosphere, until the exhaust of the engines mixing with the cold, thin air condenses and streams the heavens with paper trails. The men in the ships, they're far from beautiful, for they point like beckoning fingers to the formation, signposts in the sky for the enemy to spot us. And they had a few guns they were shooting at us. <laughs> Boy, did they have a few guns. <laughs> Guidance through the 94. Three planes, nine o'clock, coming around. Keep your eye on the board. We got pretty well shot up. Huh? Around the 10. Watch and shut you guys up. Yeah. They're breaking at 11. Breaking at 11. We got them. Coming around underneath at 10 o'clock. I got those two at 2 o'clock. Watch them, Scotty. I got my sights on them. Check out B-17, Chuck. 3 o'clock. Motor's motor. B-17 out of control at 3 o'clock. Come on, you guys, get out of that plane. Bail out. There's one. He come out of the bomb bay. Yeah, I see him. There's a tail gunner coming out. Watch out for fighters. The airplane was all shot up, what have you. So he bailed out. He and Several of the crew members bailed out. Eight men still in that B-17. Come on, the rest Christ of you guys. Get out of there. Come on, bail So far, three more shoots. Black, 11 o'clock. Spider, 6109. I didn't o'clock. like the idea of bailing out at, at 30,000 feet. <laughs> this fortress is hurt. Engine on fire, losing airspeed and altitude. Drifting into the flak, alone and helpless. A straggler. I knew the way from Munich back to my base. I took over 
so when I got back to Italy, uh, I was going to have to land the airplane, which I had never done before. Don't give up. Keep in there. Step in there. Keep fighting. And uh, you hope you win. I was happy to get back and not be injured or anything of that nature. They were all okay. Nobody, nobody was hurt. It was a funny thing, bailing out at 20-some thousand feet and making it all the way to the ground and not getting injured some way. When I received the Silver Star for bringing that airplane back, man was awarding me. This is, this is me right here. This is the general pinning the medal on me. Honesty, dependability, things, these good characteristics of a person, you know. That's about it. It's that that simple. <laughs> <laughs>